Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam and today we are going to be looking at the DJI Mavic Mini motor speed error once again. If you're new around here, my name is Adam and we're going to be doing a lot of tech drone and photography content here on this channel. So if that interests you, make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the DJI Mavic Mini motor speed error and I did a previous video on this. I want to say thank you very much for your support on that video. It's got like 25 likes and like 800 views, which is crazy, but that hasn't been working for a lot of you and I think I have found the way that it seems to work like 100%. So stay tuned to find out how. Okay, so I'm going to run through a quick explanation of what the motor speed error is and how you can potentially prevent it. So the motor speed error is basically a small error that comes up mid-flight like this one. What it is, it is an error for the DJI Mavic Mini which seems to be in the software and when you're flying it will pop up on your screen like a weak signal would and then it will show, and it would say you need to land immediately and change the propellers. So there's a few conspiracies as to what this is. It could be in the software, it could be an error ever since the more recent update or it could be an actual fault with your machine or with your aircraft. Okay, so as soon as you get this error, what will happen is that you'll land your Mavic Mini and it'll land on the ground like this and then when you pick it up and, you, and it actually comes to a stop, the propeller which uh, has the fault, so let's say it's this one, will keep flicking around like that and it will be telling you that this is the motor that you have to change. So I did a full video on this and talked about the previous tips you can do before doing this final one, which uh, apparently works. So you can, I'll leave a link in the description and up here for that video, but I'm gonna run through the steps really quickly with you and then discuss this new way of doing it. Timestamps will be in the description down below if you wanna to skip to this second part, if you've already tried the stuff in the first video. So what you're going to want to try first of all is obviously changing the propellers. There's a full thing on my video talking about that. Also, you're going to want to try refreshing the software, which you can do by plugging in your device to a computer and then it will uh, come up with two options and you can refresh the software, which apparently has been working for some people. And of course, you can also try changing all of the propellers, keeping the drone out of the carry case that it comes with. And that has also worked for some too. So if you want a full video on all that I've just mentioned and it, that sounds like you're something you haven't tried or it might work for you, then make sure you do check out my previous video. Okay, so now you may be wondering, okay, what is this new step? And I've had uh, more than one comment, maybe two or three, and they've said that they've tried this new step and it has worked for them. I've also seen online that people have done this have had no problems at all. So this could be something that could work for you and you will not get this error anymore. And so far it seems to have 100% worked and it's not not worked. So. Let's dive straight in to see what it is. Okay, so it's to do with the software. So one part of the first video, what I chose to do was refresh some of this firmware. I think it was a version 5.00001, something like that. And that is the one we decided to refresh. However, there was another uh, set of software underneath that. That is the 000.4 or 4000. I'll explain it in a minute. And basically there was an option to downgrade that software and that is what you're going to want to do you're going to want to plug in your Mavic Mini and downgrade the software I've had a couple of comments on that last video that I'll put on screen now saying that this new method works to fix the DJI Mavic Mini motor speed error so I'm going to run through a whole separate walkthrough on the Mac screen right now and you can see exactly what to do to fix this error Okay, so what you're going to want to do is download DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic in the description down below. You're going to want to download it on either Mac or Windows, depending on what operating system you are using. Then you're going to want to plug in your drone after loading up the software. It will give you a prompt to say turn on the aircraft and then to plug it in within 20 seconds. Then the little USB stick will move on the application like you see here. And then it's going to load up your Mavic Mini onto the Assistant page. Now, once you go into the MIDI Mavic Mini software, just like this, it will come up with two versions of software. One is the V01000500. That is the one you're going to want to download the most recent update to. Mine actually says upgrade, which I was quite surprised about. So you're going to make sure you're going to want to do that because that could even be a cause of your error. So you're going to want to make sure you do the upgrade and then refresh that. But what you're going to want to do is this one down below that says V01000400. 
that is the one we're going to go and press downgrade on. I'm not going to show you the motion and what happens because mine so far has been okay. But what you're going to want to do is press downgrade and hopefully that will fix your error. Okay guys, so hopefully that will mean happy flying. I haven't actually tried this new method because I got a brand new drone, I replaced my old one and touch wood, I haven't had any problems so far. So it might have just been an error with my drone. But what you're gonna to wanna to try is doing this without having to go through all the steps. You might have had your drone for a little while and you can't do the exact quick replacement like I did because mine was only like a week old. And hopefully that worked. So I hope you have enjoyed this video guys. Um, I know it's been short, but it's definitely a big, big update for the Mavic Mini Motor Speed error. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a future video about an error with the controller and there was a time when my controller didn't stop beeping you guys might have had exactly the same so stay tuned for that video as well as some other future videos i've got planned so i hope you guys did enjoy this video my name is of course being adam and i'll see you in a future one take care guys